Hello everyone, welcome back again here on our YouTube channel, Habit TV. And of course, if this is your first time seeing me, by the way, I'm Mark, and I created this channel to help our fellow hobbyists to, to widen their understanding, to give them insights and knowledge when it comes to our hobby. Consider subscribing to get updated whenever we have new uploads. And this is means a world to me because in this way it would help us to grow our YouTube channel and of course it will help us to continue this cause. And out of topic guys, um, I just want to grab this opportunity to greet my one and only partner. Um, happy Mansari for the both of us. Um, you know already who you are. That's why I love you for that. <laughs> and of course to our fellow hobbyists all around the world, um, Valentine's Day is about to come. That's why I want you guys to to greet your loved ones while still you can. All right. So our topic for this time, we're gonna do an experiment on hatching BBS or BB brand shrimp without equipment, or should I say, without any aerator or other stuff. So without further ado, let's get it started. Instead of constantly buying a new brand shrimp for your local pet supply shop to feed your fish with, some people choose to hatch their own brine shrimp. Finding high quality brine shrimp eggs is easy and technically speaking, hatching them is quite easy as well. Now, most people are going to tell you that you absolutely need an air pump in order to hatch brine shrimp eggs. The reason for this is because the eggs need to be constantly suspended in the water column and they require less of oxygen both things which an air pump will provide however what happens if your air pump breaks or you just don't want to buy a new one can you still hatch brine shrimp without an air pump so that's why we'll be doing an experiment today to hatch brine shrimp together with or without air pump so we are going to use two small tank and fill it with water And let's go to salinity. Approximately one in half or two tablespoons of salt per quart or liter of water or four cups in one liter of water. This equates to about 1.018 specific gravity as measured with a hydrometer. And aquarium salt, sea or non-iodized table salt can be used also. Let's go to pH. Proper pH is important in hatching brine shrimp. A starting pH of 8 or higher is recommended. If the pH of your water is below 7, Epsom salt or baking soda can be added at the rate of 1 half teaspoon per quart. Temperature Optimum water temperature for a 24 to 36 hour complete hatch is 80 to 82 Fahrenheit. Lower temperature will result in a longer hatching time, but do not exceed 86 Fahrenheit. So after mixing all the ingredients, let's now add BBS eggs. The ratio would be half teaspoon in every liter of water. So here in the first tank, we will add a aerator for us to compare the hatch rate of hatching brine shrimp eggs with aeration and no aeration. And let's leave them for 24 to 36 hours.
So after 36 hours, let's see if the eggs were hatched. And let's remove the aerator so that we can check it clearly. And now let's try to check first the tank with the aerator and we need to transfer it under the sun for you to see it clearly. So here you can see we have hatched the eggs successfully but they are mixing with the eggshells right? So I know what you are thinking on how to separate them with the eggshell but don't worry because I'm gonna show you how later. And let's check the tank with no aerator. So as well you can see we can still hatch brine shrimp eggs without a rater. So you don't need to worry anymore. <laughs> and as you notice, some of the newly hatched brine shrimp were separating or grouping themselves away from the shells. So that's what we observe on this experiment. And also here, I want to show you the adult brine shrimp where I abandoned 3 months ago. So there you go, actually I didn't feed them for the last 3 months and never checked them of how they're doing just this morning. <laughs> To my surprise, they're still alive and to think they are placed in the direct rain and sunlight. But I'm sure they're still alive due to green algae on the water. <laughs> And here, as what I've said earlier, this uncommon technique on separating brine shrimp from eggs or harvesting eggs, if you have any brine shrimp culture, you may use magnet to harvest them, just like in the video. And now let's try to feed some of my guppy here, even Daniel's fry. And don't worry because in my experience, guppy fish will still eat eggs shells. <laughs> So I want to show you my yellow danius fry. 
They're so cute, right? <laughs> So thank you so much guys for watching this video till the end. Hopefully this will help you understand that you can still hatch BBS or BB brine shrimp without any equipment or without aerator. And also I just want to announce, actually this is a pre-announcement that soon we will be launching our second YouTube channel. Um, by the way, on that channel, we'll be uploading videos answering all of your questions so that we want to separate that thing. And because on this channel, uh, we'll be holding pure tutorials. And if you have any questions, if you have any clarifications when it comes to our video, then you can visit that channel. You can support the channel. And also, we'll be doing a giveaways in there and other stuff, or just like bloopers or other stuff. <laughs> all right. And also, if you have any comments, clarifications, and suggestions, you can drop your comments down below. So, please be safe everyone to get be the glory. Bye-bye!